Welcome to the third episode of Let's Play Inter in Football Manager 2020. I'm Inter and Channel State Gaming, and I just want to say a short thank you to all you guys that have basically have given this series a great start. Everybody that's commented in the, in the episode one and two, press that like button. It really helps me out, and I love to interact with you guys. So massive thank you to, to everybody that interacted in any ways with me. For this episode. I'm going to try to do something different because I'm recording this basically past midnight. I don't want to disturb my neighbors. So I'm going to try to speak with a little bit lower voice and I need to try to restrain myself because I can get very excited with this game. And if I start screaming now, my neighbors won't be happy. So yeah, I'm going to try to restrain myself for this episode. But uh, enough about that. Let's focus on the game. So since last episode, we played one game. It was at home versus Rona and it was a very easy win. And um, it should be a very easy win, because Verona is in the bottom of the table. So, uh, clearly a team we should be beating with ease, and we did. Right now we're in 5th place, but we are far, far behind on Napoli. God damn it, that club is going so well, undefeated. And, um, I mean, the only good news for us right now is that the reigning champions are still behind us. But uh, that gap to Napoli is, is starting, to, starting to frighten me. Today though, it's not about the league, today we have something special. It's time for the first Champions League game we play in an episode of this series. Yes, I played one before versus Rosenborg. This is going to be the first one we see in the series. And it can, it's against a huge club, Atletico, one of the best clubs uh, in the world. It's going to be big, it's going to be exciting, it's going to be something special. And of course, it, uh, our play Godins is his former club. Uh, he won't start though, as you know from before, he was injured for like 3 months when he started this game. So he's still lacking match fitness, I'm, I'm working on getting it out, but he's on the bench. We yeah, look at this team and of course, Jao Felix. Fantastic wonder kid. So much quality in this team. It's going to be tough, but we need to win, because we're playing at home. And if we want to have any chance of winning our Champions League group, we definitely need to be beating Atletico at home, because uh, I mean, if we can't beat them at home, it's going to be very difficult to beat them away. But if we can get, if you can do well at home, then maybe everything is possible. So, what do you want to say here? Maybe we could talk about the last game. It went very well. Well, nobody cared about the last game, apparently. Let's say something else, see if we can... Oh my god, these reactions. I'm still trying to, to get used to what to say during team talks in, in FM20. Um, Still, I really haven't found a great way, at least not for, for the pre-game pre I can't speak to the pre-game uh, team talks, um, but uh, clearly going to be experimenting with it. Trying to find some stuff that works with, with this team and my, my current players and their personalities. We can start a game. Oh, look at this. It's a great chance for looking at Chavez Rodriguez. It's a very weak finisher, but could have gave us a, a, a dream start here. Guys, let's get a little bit creative, won't you? Yellow card there for Brunswick. Look, so looking at statistics, we have created a few chances, we see nothing for them. And instead we see Atletico Madrid with throwing. We haven't had a single thing according to statistics, but statistics could be a lie, because it's all about actually scoring goals. And here is Atletico, they are advancing. Come on, lads, I don't like where this one is heading at all. Stop it! Block it! Intervene! Something! Tackle, goddammit! Oh yeah! B beautiful as a ball, but good enough! Still in Atletico possession, we're still under pressure. Can we win it back? Can we turn it around? Maybe! Maybe! Maybe not! Because now it's going the wrong direction! And there's a lot of Atletico players inside our box! Ooh, that was really, really close. I think it's time to, to show some passion, lads. Uh, yeah, they're all fired up. Fantastic. Here's a free kick. And it's Sensei with a free kick. And a decent try. Not too bad. Felt like the goalkeeper was standing on the wrong foot. So just put a bit inside the post. It would have had a really hard time getting over there. And we're going to see a throw in. It's Bronsovic. Barella loses possession. We wins it back. Sensei. Bro. Look at the right flank. Can we get it through there? Maybe. Yes, it can. It sends it again. Lazaro, Lazaro into the box and where? But where? I need to restrain myself. Okay, stay calm. Stay calm. No screaming. No screaming. No. Okay, 
If I get a heart attack, I can't scream, and things like that will give me a heart attack one day. Ah, free kick, sensibly free kick into the box, it goes far, it is Grinnar! Here is Grinnar! Milan Grinnar with such an important goal, his first goal of the season, with a little bit help at Woodworks, but that's goal, I mean, if, if we just forget about, like, the sportsmanship of things, or, or the sports success, just imagine the amount of money you get if you go through from the Champions League or not. Look at the statistics, we really dominated things, but looking at the highlights, I, I saw far too much um, Atletico possession. Even though this one says we had the possession, I'm not sure. But there's clearly uh, room for some improvements, and we're going to tell them. We just got to stay calm, we, we're not, not aggressive, we're not angry, but we are not happy. There's so much room for improvement. Looking at their ratings, actually, there's a lot of room for improvement. I'm looking at 6.5, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.7. Yeah, a lot of room for improvements, and hopefully we can step it up in the second half. Because it's uh, such an important uh, situation. Maybe we should get a little bit creative, lads. Sense is pressured by the feedback. I mean... Look at the statistics, we're still dominating things, still missing passion. I picked up three yellow cards, so that, that, that's some sign of, of passion. Or maybe a clumsiness. Let's see, maybe some of the, oh, 6.5, really, Rodriguez, you were fantastic in the last game. Or well, in the last episode, why, why not now? Lukaku haven't been great, but he's pretty fit though, maybe we want to keep him on for a little bit longer. Maybe we should go with Sensi, even though he's playing pr pretty decently, I think, I think that's the, the winner. Another goal for us would make me feel so much more secure. So much more. But the clock ticks on. 34 in shots. We are dominating things, but we need to show it on the scoreboard. And we are not. Not at all. So, do we want to change these guys around? Nah. It seems like it works perfectly. Just go deep lying here. Support is fine. I'm not going to go defensively because uh, I, I don't feel secure doing that. I just want us to score another goal. But instead we see Atletico made with the throw in. We win it though. Oh, that was clumsy, but we get another chance. And it's young Yari. It's Lazaro. Bronzovic. Lazaro. Vencino. All the way to left flank for Samoa. A Samoa challenge into the box. And there it is. It's Martinez, our goal scoring machine of this season. It's his sixth goal. The season has just badly started. It's already at six goals. What have we played? I think we played like six league games and two Champions League games, including this one. And I mean, I've been doing some rotation. He haven't even started every game or even played every game. He's been fantastic this far into the season. We're getting a lot of replays here. Why are we getting so many replays? Oh, yeah, he's checking the, the ward thing, and it's clear there was no offside at all. Fantastic. This is a really good result. Really, really good. I mean, yes, we have the home advantage. We need to be winning at home in the Champions League. But still, I'm very pleased for us beating Atletico during the first season. It's probably going to be a completely different story when we play them away. That's going to be another challenge. They will most likely be much more attacking, creating stuff. But here is Vincenio into the box. Can we get something? Oh, look at that! And it's young Jerry! Our young signing, he's not even supposed to be a, a, a star now. He's just a talented player we have great hopes for in, to, in the future. And he scored his first Champions League goal. I bet he didn't expect that when he joined us from Belgium in the summer. Yeah, now I'm even more happy. Really, really, really good result. And of course, now he's not playing. We just let them straight through. Come on, lads. Really? Really? This is how you defend? This is so bad, it's embarrassing. It's like we, we stopped playing, we looked at the clock, we scored a goal. But just waiting for... Look, look at this, nobody cares, they're just jogging around. Just jogging around, look at this, he can just run straight through, nobody tries to stop him. My gosh, that defense is embarrassing. But like, uh, yes, they know, like, we have won it and they stopped playing when we scored a th third goal. 
So looking at the other results there, uh, Bayern managed to beat Rosenborg, which actually puts us in a situation where they lost one game each, and uh, Rosenborg of course had lost both games. They are the only team with six points. The next Champions League game, we're actually going to play Bayern at home. So if we can beat both Atletico and Bayern at home, that's we can't take anything for granted because we could lose both the away games. But that sets us up in a very good situation because it's going to be two very, very difficult away games. Two really difficult away games. Uh, but still, uh, if we forget about... Oh, look. What? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to... First off, I'm going to sell well done. But then... Antanovic, you should be our, our captain, you should be our hero. 6.3, we're going to have an individual talk. We're just going to stay calm, not to upset or anything. But uh, maybe like that. I don't want to put too much pressure. Unhappy, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's how I feel. And it seems like he, uh, he, 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 yeah, look at this. We've got a good reaction from it. You can even, t even tell uh, tell from this one like he knows that he can do better than that he is the captain he should high, have higher expectations and he agreed uh, but I think that's it for this episode but of course we need to to end it with a little bit of a, a cliffhanger so let's take a look at the schedule the next episode is going to be a huge one next one is going to be once again in Champions League versus Bayern Munich you definitely don't want to miss that one but that's going to be the next episode now I want you to press that like button because a win in Champions League versus Atletico deserves a like and of course if you're new here make sure to subscribe and thank you so much for watching